Welcome Aquarians. This is your abundance in money and prosperity reading for um, the Sagittarian season. So let's go in this and check out and see what is coming out. Okay, this is a new series. Um, it's not really new. Some of you are not aware of it, but um, it is what is coming up. Okay, I love this deck and I love this deck because this is one of the most uh, super, super um, positive deck. Um, it has so much astrological um, awareness of what um, a transpire. And this is so beautiful because um, this deck um, is good when we're doing um, money readings. It is just so clear, so understanding. So I want to say to each and every one, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, it is an absolutely um, wonderful journey. I'm doing this. Um, so let's see what is coming up and what is transpiring so how this work is that we have uh, four different amazement and if you notice you have the rose um you have uh, the gem um you have uh, the gem and the crystal and you have the shoes now the shoes is about uh, um if you notice uh, shoes tell you who um a person is and the rose is uh, the heart is open the black onyx is that uh, you are pushing towards prosper uh, prosperity and this is about bringing uh, money in it is green it is a wonderful wonderful stone it's like a jade but it is the energy of the money and my buddha <laughs> hello so all right so let's go in this um, this um, this is uh, um, the season reading of Sagittarian. Uh, Sagittarian begins from the 22nd of uh, November until um, the 20, um, from 22nd of November until the 21st of December. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's go in and check on your reading and see what is happening in transpiring. So we have four energies and uh, um, every season have four weeks. Okay. It doesn't really matter. It always, the season begins in the middle of the month. So every, every, every season have four weeks. We are now in the Sagittarian series. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the Sagittarian. So what is happening is that you need to choose one of these deck. And in order to see the extent, um, what is going to be coming up, which, whichever of this uh, that you choose, uh, um, you have to um, join to become a member in order to see it because this reading is going to be very, very long because it tells you um, what is coming up, how to manifest your um, money and how to create uh, your own wealth. And that is um, good. So what is happening and what is transpiring is that we are going to be looking at your reading. Now, your reading is saying in the first week, um, there is uh, some sort of unhappiness that is going to be coming out about money so be aware of that you got to be um aware okay so in order for you to know what is going to be coming out in the first week you have to choose one of these uh, um here so you're dealing with a cancer um for some of you um this cancer could be your boss and i see that this cancer create a whole lot of issues in your world and also with your um at your workplace okay so a lot of you are going to be dealing with a cancer. This could be an ex-boss. It is definitely coming up as an ex-boss. And this person have created a whole lot of issues for you, either in the future or is going to be creating a whole lot of issues for you in um, this um, month because this is the Sagittarian season. So you got to be aware. It could be a boss. It could be someone who is a boss. It could be someone who is in power. It could be someone who have created a whole lot of difficulty. Um, this is why your financial stability is somehow in a ray. 
um, because of uh, this ex boss or um, it is someone who works in your corporation or institution or in a corporation institution that have created some sort of issues for you. Um, this is why your prosperity and your abundance is a little bit in reverse. Then we see here um, the people who have business is also being affected from a cancer person. Whoever this cancer person is, uh, um, it could be working in your corporation or institution. And they're the one who are creating some sort of an instability. So you have to be aware and align with the energies uh, um, to be um, um, aware of what is happening and what is transpiring because whoever this person is uh, in this corporation institution is working in your company or working in another corporation or have a business and this is a person that is creating some sort of uh, issues uh, when it comes on to your financial um your financial um and money flow okay because this is a reading about uh, abundance in money and prosperity so Let's break this down. So when we look at the three of cups, it is, so it says some of you had hoped for some money to come in and it's not going to be here at this moment. So we have to look in the other season if it's going to be coming in. So someone could have promised you to transfer some money or a corporation um, should have been paying you out. Uh, and this corporation is creating a whole lot of issues uh, that bring you in some sort of a uh, um, financial instability. So be aware of that. Then we see the energy of the four of pentacles. And I see a lot of you are trying to find a job or trying to find extra work or trying to find extra um, things to do in order to fulfill um, your um, financial flow, your materialist flow. So I see a lot of you could be thinking about starting your business uh, it's in the thoughts. It's not yet in the ether. And I think that that would be a good thing for you to do because that is going to be helping you to align you so that you can bring more abundance, financial stability and prosperity in your life. If you decide to start your own business, it's a yes, it is going to be good. It's going to be moving forward in the right direction. So this is going to be very, very promising. So a lot of you Aquarians have been thinking whether or not I should or not. Um, it's saying, think about it, plan it. And as you move to the Capricorn season, then you will um, be more aware of um, if that is the direction you should go. If you notice all of your cards or in the reverse. So it's as, as if a lot of you Aquarians are thinking whether or not you should start a business, move forward or not, or just let it go. So that is a sort of a situation that is going to be coming up for a lot of you Aquarians where you're kind of um, um, playing with the thought uh, whether to start your business, whether to go back and work in corporate or to start your business. I see a lot of you are want to give up corporate basically and want to um, regain um, financial stability by going to work for yourself. I see a lot of you are working in corporate is thinking about uh, starting some sort of a uh, new stability for yourself. And this could be working out in a very, very wonderful way. So there are a lot of possibilities that could come in and it's going to be transpiring in the spirit. And this is going to be good because I see you're opening up uh, um, to the possibility of you creating your own business. And um, as an Aquarian create their own business, they always do good in that because they're hardworking and you're always thinking about the next uh, um, new thing. You're always creating so that other people will follow or other people can use whatever you're creating. So um, this is um, really wonderful. So there is a lot that is happening and it's transpiring. And what we are seeing is that if you decide to start your business, because a lot of you is as if corporate is not doing it for you or it's not paying what you wanted to be paid. So it is as if you're thinking, hey, um, what I'm doing now in corporate, maybe I can start doing that for myself. And I see that you will go in, in the right direction in order to do that, because that is going to be bringing you more financial stability. And it's going to be reversing what has been happening in your life and throwing 
a new shift on life where it is going to be um, you're going to be balancing out your own financial stability so if you notice uh, a lot of you are really um, thinking is corporate going to be doing it for me or should I look for another position or should I move to another department or should I look out of uh, um, this company or this uh, career field so I see a lot of you are questioning 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 and trying to figure out what is best and what is going to be best for you as you move um, in a new direction by just showing up that hey I want to start something new I want to move towards and create my own world and that is going to be bringing you a lot of wonderful new surprise, but new start that is going to be creating a lot of abundance, uh, money and prosperity for you as you take this chance and move forward. It is going to be opening up a new world for you. So Aquarians, um, this is really wonderful. If you um, understand what is happening with money. Um, it's as if you see corporate and the money in, in reverse. It's as if a bank, a financial institution, or it has to do with corporate. It's corporate um, bringing you the financial stability that you want. That is a question that a lot of you is going to be asking yourself. And in order to find out uh, what is your next direction? You can choose one of uh, the cards above and what that is going to be doing is basically going to be aligning you with the correct energy in order to create the abundance and prosperity for you in this month. So it is a really wonderful alignment of energy. It's a positive uh, um, situation that is going to be transpiring. Money is going to be coming back in your world. Um, check out um, one of these to find out which uh, direction you're going to be going and how you're going to be um, re uh, um, like bringing back your materialistic stability and how that is going to be coming out in the future for you. Okay, so this is wonderful and positive. So Aquarian, um, be aware of this energy. Um, go, um, you know, understand what is happening, understand what is coming up. Um, this is a season that uh, it's ruled by Jupiter. So if Jupiter is in your birth chart, it is going to be helping you a lot in order to revamp and regain your financial stability. So don't forget you're dealing with, um, some sort of an issue where you had expected some money to come in um, and it's to find out whether or not the money is going to come in. Some of you are dealing with a corporate. You want to know whether or not you should stay at corporate or change to a different organization. And at the end of the day, the eight of pentacles is there that a lot of you are hoping to advance to a new level so that you can create um, new stability, new financial stability in your world, okay? I got to go. Leave a message. Let me know how it is. In order to see what is behind um, the top layer, you have to join. And as you join, you can choose for $1.99 um, the first abundant, and you can find this reading on the, the $1.99 abundant. I got to go. Namaste until next time. Woo! <laughs>